In Trailer Talk, I play the character of uh, Ron Sansone, uh, a longtime lead actor in a, uh, a dramatic television series. Now, uh, I drew on my experience of uh, 25 years uh, in Hollywood, uh, uh, 38 years in acting in television to, to create the character. The thing about television is that no matter how much literary or artistic merit a TV show may have, it's always part of an industrial process. Uh, there are so many pages that have to be churned out within an eight-day period uh, in order to get the show, the, this week's episode, done. Getting it done is the imperative. Um, my colleague, Anthony LaPaglia, uh, used to refer to it when I worked with him as uh, grinding sausage. Um, uh, I wouldn't quite put it like that, but there is that industrial quality. And the thing is, that industrial uh, process of television works best often when there are theater-trained uh, actors uh, playing the principal roles because they have the skill set and the knowledge to bring depth and complexity to characters in a very short time based on their explorations of all this great art. Well, that some puts some people in conflict with their own ideals. And Ron Sansone, who's been made a very wealthy, very famous, uh, uh, familiar face to the American public, is really having a crisis about the artistic ideals that he left behind. And you know, he's fallen prey to the other uh, thing that can happen to TV stars if they let it, um, runaway ego. Uh, he doesn't think uh, uh, that that's the case, but in his behavior, uh, it was my job to let you see that, to let you see the things that he was unaware of, the revelatory things about how uh, self-centered and uh, egocentric he had become uh, while all the time talking about artistic ideals. So uh, I had to draw from not most of my television colleagues, but a colleague here and there um, who had fallen prey to uh, the seductions of television stardom. And it was my chance to, I hope, lovingly uh, lampoon some of those people.